View results. Some results display on multiple screens. For example, results from an assessment documented on an ad hoc form will display on the flow sheet, in documents, in iView and INO, and on one or more summaries. Results are not restricted to a single encounter. When results are posted from a previous encounter, they are viewable in the current visit, although viewing them may require a change to the date range. There are a number of different summaries available to view important current information on the patient, and these summaries vary by role. There are multiple places in the chart to view results. Each section of the chart is accessed from the menu on the left side, which contains links to various sections or screens. In addition, some sections contain tabs. For example, the patient information screen has tabs for visit list, patient demographics, and the PPR summary. Flow sheets. The flow sheets resemble spreadsheets with rows and columns. There is a navigator to help you quickly bring results into view. Data in a flow sheet is not limited to results from the current encounter or visit. Double-clicking a cell populated with results enables you to view additional information such as reference ranges or trends. Results on a flow sheet can be graphed and displayed in reverse chronological order so that the most recent results are always instantly viewable. The graph button is used to select components to establish trends. The seeker button enables you to focus on an area of the flow sheet that contains results. This is especially useful when the patient has a large number of results. The Recent Results tab displays all results posted within the last 72 hours. This includes all vitals, labs, radiology, and assessments. Each tab contains only results specific to the name of the tab. Results display in cells which are at the conjunction of a row and a column. High, low, and critical results display in different colors to alert you of any results outside normal values. The flow sheet filter contains a list of specific types of results. You can narrow the view to display only the results that fall within the filter parameters. For example, you can filter the recent results tab to display only the lab results. From the level field, you can further filter results by selecting the desired option in the level drop-down list. For example, if you have filtered the recent results tab to display only lab results, you can further filter it to show just hematology results. There are three views available for the flow sheet. The table view is like a spreadsheet. The group view groups together test components and the list view displays each test with the groups of components as a list. This view also allows you to print the results in a better format. Which view you use depends on your preference and your workflow. Viewing results details. From the flow sheet, you can easily view documented results. However, you may need to read additional details. For tests with reference ranges, Double-click the cell containing the result to open a window to display the high-low values. For test with results in a written report, double-click the cell containing the result to open the report. Your patient tells you that he had a CT of the abdomen pelvis with contrast on May 9th of 2014, and you want to read the results. To bring the CT section into view from the navigator, click Computed Tomography. Find the date on which the CT was done and then double click on the test to view the results. You can also click on the view image icon in the toolbar of the document viewer screen to view the CT image. When clicking on the view image icon in the toolbar of the document viewer to see the CT image, the iConnect access will auto launch to view the PAX image. Comparison views and other studies for the patient can be viewed by clicking on the history tab. iConnect provides access to images for only a single patient through eCare. To view images for other patients, you must access their individual charts in eCare or log directly into the PAX application. To exit iConnect, click on the blue X in the top right hand corner of the viewer to return to the document viewer screen. Once you have read the report, you can exit the document viewer by clicking the exit button, which is the green door with an arrow at the top left. 
you also want to check the normal high and low values for oxygen saturation. Let's look at a different type of result, one that displays the reference range. From the navigator, bring the vital signs into view, double click the cell for oxygen saturation for 1400 EDT on April 21, 2014. Notice the normal high and low values for oxygen saturation. Graph results. Any numerical result that displays on a flow sheet can be selected to display the trend. You can trend a maximum of three values at a time if displaying them in individual grids. When values are selected, the graph produced can display the values in separate grids or combined into one graph. You can have up to 10 values in a combined graph. After reviewing results of the MRI, you want to continue examining the flow sheet results. You want to combine the HGB and the HCT results to see if there is a trend. Check the gray box to the left of HGB and HCT to select those fields. At the top left of the flow sheet, click the graph button. It looks like the trend is upward and you want to see both values on the same graph. To do so, click the combine button. Each of the values has a different color and symbol so that you can tell them apart on the graph. You can graph up to three values at one time. To close the graph, click close.